Yeah, everyone. So let's look at this next question here. Again, a very good question. A uh, good high quality question it is. This question basically says that in triangle PQR, the in circle touches the sides QR, RP, and PQ at T, U, and S respectively. If the radius of the in circle is four units and the lengths of QT, RU, and PS are consecutive integers, the area of the triangle PQR will be. This is the question here. Okay. Now let's try to solve this. So. We'll just try to make a circle, and then uh, yeah. So let's make a circle like this. We hope to we hope to make a good diagram. <laughs> okay. Something like this. Almost perfect. Okay. So in triangle, so this is a triangle PQR here, है ना? In triangle PQR, sides QR, RP and PQ, in circle touches the sides QR at T. So QR at T, uh, RP at U, and uh, this PQ at S. Okay. If the radius of the circle is four units and the lengths of QT, RU, and PS are consecutive integers. So the radius of this in circle is four. Okay, so let's say there's a line, there's a center here. So there's a center. You can draw a line here. This length is given as four units. Okay. And the lengths of Q T, R U, and P S are consecutive integers, right? See so what I can take actually. So this Q T, uh, R U, and P S. So let's say I can take Q T as n minus one, R U as n, and P S as n plus one. They are consecutive integers, right? So basically, I have taken n minus one, n and n plus one. It's like three terms of AP. Okay. So why why I take that? Because in that case, uh, the sum will be three and only. So in AP, I take three terms as a minus d, a and a plus d. No, so that their sum becomes three a. Okay. The sum becomes three. So I have taken this as these are consecutive integers. I know the gap is one. So I take the terms as n minus one here, n and n plus one. So that sum becomes three n. So it's easy to take that those values, right? Otherwise, no issue. I can take n, n plus one, n plus two also. Okay, so no issue. Now, uh, so basically, if I'm trying to solve this uh, question now, so this this is four. This is n minus one. This is n, and this is n plus one. So other values here, I don't know. Okay. So now I can I apply that funda actually uh, from any external point. Okay. The length of uh, both the tangents are same. That means QS will be equal to QT. है ना दिस इज क्यू एस दिस इज क्यू टी एंड बोथ विल बी इक्वल टू एन माइनस वन ना फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट पी अगेन पी एस एंड पी यू बोथ आर टैंडेंट्स सो पी एस इज इक्वल टू पी यू इज इक्वल टू एन प्लस वन सिमिलरली आर यू इक्वल टू आर टी विल बी एन सो आर यू इक्वल टू आर टी विल बी इक्वल टू एन सो आई कैन पुट हियर दिस इज दिस बिकम्स एन दिस बिकम्स एन प्लस वन एंड दिस बिकम्स एन माइनस वन Now, uh, so basically, the whole value. So uh, this whole value will be how much? The value of P R will be two n plus one. The value of Q n will be Q R will be two n minus one, and the value of P Q will be a uh, two n. So two n, two n plus one, and two n minus one becomes the value here. Fine. Now I know that in radius uh, of this uh, is any triangle is equal to area. I can equate to area, right? Because I need to find the area of triangle P Q R. So area is always equal to r into s. I can use that funda here, guys. So area of any triangle is equal to r into s, right? Now what is a area of this triangle? So I can calculate the area of this triangle. Now it is basically given as r into s. Okay. So now what is this s here? S is semi perimeter, no? So sum is two n. Ah, then I have got two n plus one, other side two n minus one, and the other side is two n plus one. So same perimeter divided by two, okay, into r. R is equal to four. So what I'll be getting, what I'll be getting here is, I this this becomes six n by two, three n, and three n into two is a three n into two becomes, uh, sorry, into four becomes twelve n. So area of this uh, triangle, area of triangle PQR, I got as twelve n. Okay, so let me just write like this. So I'll write this as twelve n here. So area of triangle PQR, I got this as twelve n. Okay. Now, 
Also, I can get the area of this triangle by applying Heron's formula also, and I can equate these two. So basically, I can equate these two with Heron's formula here, guys. Okay. So this 12 n no. So what what is this Heron's formula here? Okay. Just a minute. Yeah. So what is this Heron's formula here? So I know that uh, the Heron's formula will basically work like this. Okay. See. So basically, Heron's formula will will work like this. In this triangle, the area of triangle PQR that is equal to under root. It is basically, if you remember that area formula is basically under root S into S minus A. So area of any triangle is under root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C like that. Okay. So I can use that. What is S here? S is semi perimeter. So some this one side is 2n one side is uh, 2n plus 1 and other side is 2n minus 1 sum will be 6n so perimeter will be 6n right so perimeter is 6n here so s is equal to 6n by 2 that is 3n that is half perimeter so this s is equal to 3n here so that means it is 3n into s into s minus a 3n minus 2n is n into s minus b 3n Minus 2n minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 into s minus c. 3n minus 2n plus 1 is equal to n minus 1. That's what I got here, and I can equate this to 12n. So I know that area is 12n here. So 12n is equal to uh, this n. I can take as uh, this n is square. No, I can take one n outside. Inside it becomes 3 into n plus 1 into n minus 1. Right. Now this n and n gets cancelled, so 144 is equal to 3 n is square minus 1. Again, this gets cancelled, so n is square minus 1 is equal to 48. So n is square is equal to 49. So n equal to plus 7 or minus 7, right? But n is the uh, length of side here; it can never be negative, right? Therefore, n will be equal to plus 7. Okay. So what I need to calculate here, I need to find the area of triangle PQR. So area of triangle PQR is 12 n, no? Therefore, area of triangle PQR is 12 n. That is 12 into 7, 84 is the answer for this question. Okay. Good question, right? A real good question. Uh, and uh, these concepts are involved that uh, you can use this for ease of calculation. You can take the sides to be n minus 1, n and n plus 1. Okay. Then area I need to equate with Heron's formula as well as this uh, area equal to R into S, right? So, अच्छा question था, ठीक है? Fine guys, let's continue the continue in the next video. Thank you.